Hi, hey, middle school baseball. Coach Kressley here. Uh, coming to you on a rainy Friday. Wanted to reach out. I got rid of my virtual background today because I wanted to share with you some um, training gadgets, things like that, stuff that you can use and apply on your own. Probably be a good day to go over some of those kinds of things. What I have laying around my house, what I've used in the past, what I've used with some of you, um, and to give you add to your bag of tricks for how you train at home and how you get through um, the situation that we're in and how you do some things solo. Uh, first of all. Um, an app we use an awful lot for hitting and for pitching uh, evaluation, slow things down. Huddle technique, H-U-D-L, it's the orange one, middle bottom here. I'm going to show you a little bit bigger. Huddle technique is a great way to do slow-mo and things like that. There's a pay version where you get all kinds of crazy um, um, and additional attributes to, to the app. But the free version does a lot of stuff great. And you can save the videos um, here, um, if you can see it. Here's Evan Wittig, who's now in ninth grade, working on uh, this past winter at 1.8 speed, working on a changeup. I don't know if you see his changeup grip there. You can see how we slow things down. We can break them down. We can pause some things. Looks pretty good. So there's Evan um, this past winter working on some stuff. Um, I'm going to share my screen with you so you see a little bit more here of um, some other stuff. So um, you can also do like side-by-side -side comparisons. I know you're not working together right now, but like if you've got a couple of brothers, people in the house working on it, you can actually put yourself side-by-side -side with each other or with the pros that they get to pay for that part. But here's a video I exported out to my computer to use with our kid, our number one and number two high school guys, Malachi Duke at 5'11", and Eric Cresley here, my son, at like six foot three, And we were able to parallel some things they were working on. You notice their motions are different, but there's a lot of great things about both of them that we can slow it down here to one eighth and I can kind of go back and forth and show some things to our middle school guys. I began to use this clip um, or these clips with some of our guys a little bit in the classroom settings before we got started. I'd hope to use it more, but anyway, Huddle Technique, H-U-D-L. Technique is a free app, Google Play or down the App Store um, on all phones. A great way to, to evaluate yourself and, and compare yourself against other people through slow motion, even though you think your body's doing um, the right thing in the right time, in the right places. Um, it's a great way to, uh, to ensure that video um, analysis without going too far, but a little bit of video analysis is good stuff. Moving on, um, I don't have any home with here, home at home with me here right now. They're all trapped in school yet, but infield trainers. I have a lot of these foam versions, this um, foam version here, and this pad type version here. Really makes you use both hands as an infielder. Um, Use with tennis balls, use with baseballs, rolling to one another, but working in your infield technique with two hands. These became very, uh, very popular back in the day when Craig Biggio, uh, some, of the, some of your parents might remember when Craig Biggio um, transferred from being a catcher to an infielder, even at the major league level, he was an infield trader quite a bit. Some of our high school guys carry these. Coach Bertain carries a bunch of these. We use these from time to time at the middle school level as well. Great for working on two-hand technique. Um, you know, um, soft hands or infield trainer drills. You can find lots of video around the internet on that. Also here in the house, hard to show you in this little space, but um, in my house, I have an agility ladder. Um, here you can see, I found that, I just Googled around for agility ladder training drills. These are 25 agility ladder drills for elite performance. Acceleration fitness is the name of this one, but if I play this a little bit, it shows you some simple um, ways to improve your agility in a lot of different ways um, with high knees and running straight forward and working sideways. Um, if you don't have a ladder or can't afford one or not gonna get one, you can certainly do this with sidewalk chalk and making sure you're hitting the empty spaces in between gives you a lot of great feedback. Anyway, um, agility ladders are a great way to improve your performance and work on skills. And it's certainly a way a lot of athletes do things in the off season. Now I'm gonna stop the screen share and show you some things that I have laying around the house right here. So we can share them from there. So moving on from that, um, here's something that we got off of Amazon. I got off some years ago. It's called a reaction ball. You notice it's got different um, kind of little knobs hanging out. It's rubberized. It works off a garage wall, that kind of thing. But this takes very unpredictable bounces. And so if you Google around for a reaction ball, it's a little smaller than an actual baseball. It really improves your hand eye and your quickness. And, you know, um, and the whole thing about reacting to unpredictable hops, which happens a lot in our game, especially in the fields of play. Uh, thunder sticks or lightning rods or whatever they call them are little cheap and expensive bats. Broomsticks work for the same. Those of you who played half ball back in the day, right? Um, 
but a thunder stick or a broom handle together with either tennis balls, okay, which we've used for other things, right? Or together with um, those little wiffle golf balls. You might split them after a while, but um, you could tape them up, do whatever. But that improves the hand-eye coordination for hitters as well. Smaller bat, a smaller ball, having to concentrate, making contact, getting through the zone, that kind of thing. These types of tools help quite a bit as well. And I know a lot of college programs, high school programs use those kinds of things as well. I think I showed to you simple dumbbells. These are my wife's eight pound dumbbells. I've been using to work out um, a little bit while I'm sitting here at my desk. Um, a lot of military press this way instead of using the full bar is greater for the rotator cuff. A lot of dumbbell work in baseball is very helpful in order to keep, make sure that shoulder stays healthy and you don't get too bulked in the wrong area because the last thing you want to do is pinch rotator cuff if you plan on playing baseball going forward. Um, some of our athletes at the high school level do exclusively dumbbell work for the military presses and things like that. There are one or two guys who also play football who do some regular bar work as well. They're bulking up their shoulders for both sports. It's a little different, but you do want to be careful of impinging a rotator cuff and doing too much. Um, here I have a deflated basketball. If you've got an old basketball, a deflated basketball is a great way to hit off a tee. Uh, because um, it makes you use your lower half. If you're hitting line drives just up the middle, if you can get this to sit on a tee of the of deflated old basketball with your regular bat, okay, it forces you to lower the half because it's hard to get this thing to travel a good distance without using your whole body to hit. So a deflated basketball working on the line drive up the middle is a great, great tool. Uh, also laying around our house, because for my wife working out, is we have this little eight pound um, medicine ball, great for trunk twists, and things like that, those kinds of exercise. You can Google for some medicine ball stuff if you have any kind of like this stuff in your house already. Um, and you can certainly use sort of like a smaller water jug that's full, things like that, anything with weight, holding with both hands. But there are lots of small medicine ball exercises you can use and do as well. I mentioned um, the bungee cord. I sent you the different um, drills that go along with this. You can use regular bungees if you don't have the actual kind of cord. Um, to actually work on um, some fitness with, some arm motion with, things like that. And again, if you're looking for home plates and things like that, for reference points, anything works. This is long 17 inches wide is the width of home plate. Um, you can Google that. This is just an old piece of whiteboard material from my board's room that, uh, my boys' rooms that we've been using with our senior pitcher here. Um, the sock drill or towel drill, the Tom House drill, you can Google around for that. This is just a simple athletic sock with a tennis ball inside that can be used for that drill. I know some of our players know this, many of our seventh graders will not know it, but it's a simple way to come up with a tool. And if you Google around Tom House, towel drill, um, you can find the details on how to go through that one. Maybe I'll go through some pitching drills with some pitchers at some point before our time is up. Those are the gadgets that I have here in the house to share with you for now. Hope everybody's well, staying safe, and keep on working out, guys, because it's a game we all love, and I know you have a desire to want to improve. Take care.